Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 10. Hey, as always, if you want to download this workbook, Business 210 Chapter 1.xlsm, go to my college website and download it. Hey, we're on the sheet tab, Real World Data. Now, we've already looked in our last video at some real world data, but let's just look at um, some terms. Elements are entities on which the data are collected, like Whole Foods Market. We have a market stock value of this, a quarterly growth revenue of this, and earnings before tax, depreciation, and amortization of that, et cetera. So that's an entity. Ah, but it's also called a primary key in database in Excel. Variables. Characteristics of interest for the elements, also called fields. Right. So right here, this is a variable or a field. Field, field, variable. And then observations, a set of measurements collected for a particular element or primary key. So here it is. Here's our observation right there. And there's an observation right there. Notice I color coded it. Hey, here's the variables. Here's the elements. And here's, the, here's an observation. So that's uh, the terms that uh, this textbook used we're going to use in this class. Next, we want to go over to scales of measurement. We actually have uh, different levels or scales for measurement meaning when we calculate a typical value, we need to decide whether we're going to use a average or a mean or a mode, which means the one that occurs most frequently. We'll see that in the next couple chapters. But we got to talk about the levels right off the bat. Nominal is one level of data. Ordinal is the next level of data. The level after that is called interval. And finally, there's ratio. Let's start with the first two. Nominal and ordinal. Now, these two are similar because they're categorical data. That just means there's a category or a name, and you're going to be counting. This category of variable is always non-numeric. Nominal, there is going to be no rank, like eye color, blue, brown, hazel. Ordinal would be like ratings, poor, good, excellent. They're they're still categories, and we can only count, but there's an actual rank. There's a rank, the difference between poor, or it goes poor, and then OK, and then good. There is a rank to poor, OK, good. We just don't know the distance between each, between each one. All right, let's start with nominal. Categories or names used, there's no rank or order in the categories. You count. You cannot calculate an average. Look first, here's our data set. Student, student one, two, there's a bunch of people we sample and said, hey, what's your favorite phone type? And their phone type is listed here. Now, the nominal category here is phone type. There's Motorola, Samsung, Nokia. All we can do is count how many there are. Let's see how to do this. This is nominal data. We're going to use a pivot table. I'm going to click somewhere in the data set. Remember, when you're doing pivot tables, only one cell is selected. Go to Insert, Pivot Table, Pivot Table. It guesses the range, right, because we have no empty columns or rows. We want to say in this existing sheet, there's only two steps. Where is the data? Where do you want to put it? I'm going to click Location and click in cell D4 and then click OK. Now, to count phone type, we draw, drag phone type to rows and then phone types to values and close the field list. And that's it. How amazing and simple is that? There it is. That is nominal data. So iPhones 104, Motorola 52. Don't get tricked here, though. These numbers are not what we're talking about. The category are these words, these uh, labels. And you can't rank these. Let's look at our next category, ordinal. The only difference between ordinal and nominal, these are still categories. And all we can do is count. But now we're going to be able to rank. We're going to know the difference between the categories. Categories as for ordinal categories are names or category or names are used, <laughs> but there is an order or rank to the categories. But you don't know the distance. Again, the difference between OK and good, yeah, they're separated and they're ranked, but we don't know how far. One person's good and OK is much different than the next. All you can do is count. By the way, you can't calculate the average or mean here, just like this category, and I'll prove that to you in just a moment. Let's go ahead, and this data set is similarly huge like that phone set. 
and I want to do a pivot table. Click in one cell, insert, pivot, pivot table. The data is right there. I'm going to say in this existing sheet, I'm going to say location, and I'm very carefully going to click in J4, and then click OK. Now, this is the student is just uh, uh, not the category. It's the rating. So we want to click on the rating field and drag it into row, and then click on the rating and drag it into values. Is that amazing? That is so much faster. It's e it's relatively easy to do with that uh, do that with a count if function in Excel, but man, our pivot tables faster. There it is. Excellent, good, okay, poor. So it looks like I've been doing a terrible job as an instructor. Most people say poor. I better try and do better next time. But hey, here it is. We know that there is um, these are ranked poor, okay, good, excellent, and we're just counting. Categories that are ranked, we don't know the distance between them, all we're doing is counting. Let's go to the next level, interval and ratio. Guess what? Interval and ratio are called quantitative. Quantitative variables are numeric. How much or how many? Let's look at interval. Interval is the same as ordinal except, so what is it? We can rank it, but now we know the distance between each rank. So the new numeric data is ranked or ordered and has a fixed unit between each uh, rank. Interval data is usually scale, such as scores on a test or temperature. And zero is just a point on the scale. Hey, Fahrenheit, if you scroll, sc scroll down here, start at minus 10, there's zero, right? So it's just a point on the scale. Celsius, right here, we scroll down, there's just a point on the scale. Same with test score and shoe size. Data. And in just a moment, we will actually do um, a calculation on that interval level data. Next is ratio. And the ratio is the same as interval, except for now, 0 means that nothing exists. So here's our customer name. Here's amount in the bank. Amount in the bank. 0, that means that Joe doesn't have any. There's nothing exists. Sue has 500. Dean has 6,000. This is ratio level data. And most of the data we will deal with in this class is ratio level data. Now, I want to calculate an average for each one of these. Actually, the mean, that means add them all up and divide by the count. Now, I have um, this mean and average way down here. I'd like you to highlight it and control X, control X for cut, and then click right in cell D13 and control V for paste or right click paste or however you paste. I want to do the same thing for this down here. This is for our ordinal. I'm going to control X and I'm going to scroll up. And right here, I'm going to control V. Now, I want to try and calculate. Remember, this first one is the phones. So if we calculate an average right here, here's the iPhone. We have 104 total. But to calculate the average, we have to add them all up and divide by the count. Well, here we'd get 104 divided by 104. So I'm going to say equals E5. And I actually have to type in E5 very carefully, because if I don't, I get this huge pivot table uh, get pivot table data function that I'm not going to talk about right now. Divided by E5. I don't like to type in cell references, but there you are. This is just to prove that this level nominal, the, the reason why there's these scales or these levels of measurements is because for some uh, scales or levels, you can't do all the calculations. You can't, uh, an average is just meaningless here. And that's same with the Ordinal level data. If I say equals K5 divided by equals K5, which is we're meeting the definition of average or mean, add them all up and divide by the count. Well, for this level of data, forget it. One, the average, that doesn't mean anything. So in these cases for ordinal and over here for uh, nominal data, there's something called the mode. And we'll learn that that is a type of average. The mode is the one that occurs most frequently. So iPhone occurred most frequently. Whereas here, poor occurred most frequently. So that's a type of average. And we have to use mode instead of mean when we get ordinal or uh, nominal data. Now, quickly before we run out of time in this video, the next two levels are interval and ratio, and it's very easy to calculate a mean here equals average. 
and then I simply highlight this range here, enter, and I can calculate the average score for that test that is interval level data. And then here for ratio, I can easily calculate the average bank account amount, 2,700. So that's a little bit about uh, raw real world data and scales of measurements. See you next video.